Aloha! So, ooh, I've got hair flying everywhere. Hello, I'm Misha Grimes. So, I wanted to do a little bit more of a casual, sit down, chatty video that isn't a Q&A, but more of a year in review. I'm assuming quite a few people do these videos. I don't really know. I just thought I would go through my camera roll and just for like my own sake, summarise on the year and what's happened and everything like that, because I can't wait till next year when I can go back and watch this video and see what happened because you forget so much like even if I film a vlog I forget what's happened in that vlog so I can't wait till I'm like really old to go back and watch those videos and be like oh my gosh that was so cool so yeah I'm gonna go through each month by month and try not to make this really long I literally have like 20 minutes to film this video so yeah um I hope you guys enjoy let's see what I got up to in 2017 because it's been a crazy year like genuinely I remember last year I was always like oh I'm just going for a busy patch I'll be chilling like all relaxed and have loads of time in the world my life is a busy patch like there's no there's no chill no I'm not a chill person I am excitable I am over the top I am all of the above and if you've never seen my face before then please subscribe because well I'd love you too and happy 2018 people let's make this year insane well at least try to but anyway let's start i've kind of basically just gone through my camera roll and picked out images and i'll pop them on the screen when i'm talking just so you guys can see what i'm talking about and you can feel like you're part of the story yeah we'll do that so apologies i'm gonna be looking over here a little bit because i've got my notes because i can't remember the year just from the top of my head i had to like fully like write down stuff okay so let's start with january now january i think people always see as very depressing month because it's just like oh christmas is over nothing to look forward to blah 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 blah, blah. but for me january was the month where i took a leap of faith and i actually started my youtube channel so on january the 15th of 2017 i posted my first ever YouTube video. Now that's insane. I'm literally sitting here less than a year on and I just, I, I don't even know how to put into words about how far for me I think my YouTube channel has come. I know to a lot of people out there, the number that I have of subscribers and the following that I have wouldn't seem like that many, but to me it's genuinely insane. And one of my aims actually for 2017 is to hit 100 thousand subscribers no 2018 even sorry i'm already getting my years confused now you may be thinking misha you're not even at 50,000 yet how do you plan on doing that there's a will there's a way i'm determined 2018 is going to be my year so that's why you should subscribe because you should help make one of my new year's resolutions come true not that i'm even a new year's resolution person but it's just an aim not even a new year's resolution an aim a goal we like goals now, whilst all of this was going on and i was starting my youtube channel is also when i was applying for universities doing my ucas and going for uni interviews so i actually only ended up going for one uni interview and that was in epsom uca i think it was and that was to study fashion styling i think i think i can't even remember that's how much you forget in a year so i actually vlogged the not the interview because obviously I couldn't let the camera in with me but I vlogged like the whole process and in that video I was like oh yeah like, eh, like yeah I had an interview it went really well and I feel like I didn't want to be honest at that point because a I wasn't ready to accept that I didn't want to go to university and b it was literally like my second video on YouTube and I didn't know how that would come across so looking back on it now I went into that interview and I know obviously a uni interview, they're supposed to test you, but I've done a lot of interviews in my time and they literally just ripped me to shreds. Like they ripped me to shreds. They just didn't appreciate my work and kind of acted as though they were the fashion gurus of life. Now obviously I know that I don't know everything and I've got a lot to learn, but I don't think you should take someone in into an interview, rip them down to pieces, and then completely confuse the situation and say, we'd like to offer you a place. So I was just all a bit disheartened by the whole situation. And from going to the uni and doing the interview, I realised that I didn't want to go there. 
leap. Turns out I didn't know where I wanted to go anywhere and I didn't end up going anywhere as you guys may know because I don't go to uni, I don't go to college. I'm 18 years old and I do YouTube and social media full time now, which back in January I had absolutely no inkling that that would happen. Like I thought I would be going to uni, I just didn't know which, I just didn't know when, blah 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 blah. But uni wasn't for me. So yes, now February was my 18th birthday which was amazing I had loads of my friends all round we went out I wore the most insane Kendall dress that's kind of where my obsession with Kendall metal chain wear began but that dress broke on me within like five minutes of going out so my mum had to rush home and bring me another outfit so I would recommend getting it from where I got it from um, but yes, I think those dresses are always a nightmare. Like, you just need to like super glue it slash bring another outfit with you. Not super glue it, hot glue gun it. Yeah. Not to yourself, like the metal bits together. Anyway, this is my year in review, not a Kendall dress review. So, so then we move on to March, which was Galaxy. So, I'm not gonna go into my full pageant story now because that would take years and you guys have seen videos all about pageants and I'm sure there'll be plenty more pageant videos to come. But just to give a little synopsis, I competed in Miss Teen Galaxy England. I think it was on like the 11th or the 12th of March. It was the Saturday. And that was my third ever attempt at the crown. And I was just in a complete state of like, <laughs> it was basically like, let me try and translate. You know when you're eating something that's so good, like a chocolate, pack of chocolate biscuits, and you don't, you think you finish them and then you dig in and you find the last one and you didn't know it was there. That is how I can describe winning Miss Teen Galaxy England because I then won an all expenses paid trip to America to compete in the internationals and that will come later in this review because that wasn't in until July. So yes, March. Once I got back, I actually then went to Milan with some of the people from my college. It was like a college trip. But I mean, my tutors were so chill. It was basically just like a trip. It had nothing to do with college. Um, and it was so much fun. I loved Milan. I really want to go back. It was quite miserable when we went. Like the weather wasn't amazing. And I brought outfits for like 20 degrees. So I kind of froze. But um, it was so much fun. I went with Liv as well. I don't know if you guys remember Liv, but she's like my college bestie who's in Norwich Uni right now. Oh my gosh, also I wanted to talk about when me and Liv were in Milan, on the final night we went to this random restaurant and genuinely, Liv will agree with me here, it was the best meal we have ever eaten in our whole entire lives. Oh, and I see, you can see that I'm seeing little notes. I also got a rose whilst we were in Milan, but I won't go into the story because yeah, bowl. Anyway. We come around to April. Now, April was a little bit more of a quiet month because obviously there'd been so much going on with everything earlier on in the year. And this is actually the first time that I visited the James Hopkins Trust. Now, the James Hopkins Trust, so they provide nursing respite care for life limited and threatened children within Gloucestershire. So yes, I visited the center in April and that's when I met Rhea. You genuinely would think going to a center like that, you would feel really disheartened because there was obviously a lot of unwell children, but the love that the volunteers and the carers show towards the children and just the joy of the place and just everything about it was so uplifting and it really puts everything into perspective so that's kind of when i fell in love with james hopkins and i've been working with them ever since next we have may so in may i had my legally blonde moment and i went to the house of commons now you may be thinking why the hell did misha go to the house of commons well to kind of give like a small synopsis, again, Misha Blabs, I'm very sorry, but I have Lyme's disease and you may never have heard about Lyme's disease. I had a video all about it and I will link that down below. Maybe I'll even do a Lyme's disease like review this year and update you guys all. Um, but yes, so Lyme's disease is not very well known in the UK. There's not a lot of funding. So I went with some local people from Gloucestershire to visit the House of Commons to see what we could do to change the fact that Lyme's disease is not very well funded in the UK. Can we appreciate that we should walk around the House of Commons? Just like, yes. I felt literally like Elwood. It was insane. Also in April, are we on? 
May? No, May. Also in May. This was when I'd been doing YouTube a little bit longer and I remember I was sat in Starbucks and I got a message on Instagram from Missy Empire. Now you guys may have seen that I did my Missy Empire live just a couple of weeks ago. Well, Missy Empire was actually also one of the first brands that contacted me wanting to send me some free clothes to advertise on my Instagram. Now that was a massive deal for me because they were the first like full-fledged legitimate professional company that actually had recognized me and I was just like what? What what? So it's so crazy to see how far I've come from just being sent a few items however many months ago to going live on their Instagram. So yeah that's crazy. June. So June came around and this is when my friendship with Chloe, my best friend, really blossomed. So I forgot to mention, but back in March when I competed in Galaxy, Chloe won Miss Teen at Galaxy Scotland. Now obviously we're supposed to be enemies because we were competing against each other, but we are wholeheartedly best friends. You will have seen from all my videos that we are literally like bestest, bestest friends ever. And she is just the dream person I could have wished for. And I always say that she is the best thing that happened to me in 2017 because she is like, she is a star and I love her to pieces. And anyway, this isn't an appreciation Chloe session. This is about when she came to visit. So we won both in March and we kind of just messaged a bit and like grew a friendship. And then in June, just before we went to internationals, she came and stayed with me. And that's really where our friendship went from strength to strength. It was also my last day of college. So last year I did go to college and I studied a fashion BTEC. In the second year I really wasn't loving it and I was so glad to finish college and be able to focus on YouTube and just get ready for the summer and yeah I was I was very happy to leave college just because it was no longer where I needed to be. And then July rolled around. Now July was probably one of the most incredible months of this year because so so much happened. So I travelled to America to Orlando for the Galaxy International Finals with all of Team UK including Chloe. We shared a room which was blooming hilarious and this is when we were then competing against each other both for the title of Miss Teen Galaxy International but we literally had a whale of a time I genuinely don't think I've had a be better week ever like it was so much fun and then obviously the cherry on top of the cake I actually won Miss Teen Galaxy International now winning Miss Teen Galaxy England was just mind-blowing so winning the international was just like a whole nother level I can't even fathom like the experience and the emotions and everything like that like I think it was just it was like seeing something from outside of your body like I didn't feel like I was in it like it was all such a blur and yeah so I think this year a lot of things that I've been working towards had actually come into place and come into fruition and worked out so I feel like although this year has been amazing it's because of the hard work I've put in other years as well. Like it didn't just all happen for me in an instant. I really worked hard for Galaxy and I'm so, so incredibly grateful that my dreams did come true, however cliche that may sound. Also another highlight, just like little highlights from America, is Makeup by Sheila. So Makeup by Sheila is a Houston based makeup artist, but she flies down to Orlando for Galaxy International. And honestly, she slayed my face. I've never felt so beautiful in my life. I know you do not need makeup to feel beautiful, but I just, I loved it. It was insane. I felt so confident and she's just amazing. Another like funny thing that happened in America was it was the night after prelims and Duncan was curling my hair. So Duncan is our UK based hairdresser who well, hair stylist for pageants and he came with us to America and he was recurling my hair and like pinning it so we do pin curls so we like roll them and he was doing this piece and it had been curled the night before and he put so much hairspray in it that when he combed out the curl it genuinely stood up like this so you know when Harry met Sally I think that's the film where he in his hand and then like it, she puts it in her hair and thinks it's hair gel literally like that it was probably the funniest thing that has ever happened like i was crying like crying and so was duncan and i have the funniest video of it go <laughs> <laughs> post galaxy me and mum actually went on to miami which was obviously insane like it like you know you have expectations of places it beat all my expectations it was 
incredible like oh my gosh we had so much fun we ate so much good food oh and then when we were in miami i was taking instagram photos just like by the pool and this random girl came over to me i was wearing my like bodysuit that says like insta no i'm cooler on instagram this random girl came over and started taking photos of me and thought i was like the funniest person ever and like pointing at my thing and it was just hilarious me and mum were like what's going on august rolled around and that is when mum actually competed in perfect this is when mum won the title of world perfect classic woman and yeah i don't think i've ever cried so much in my life it was emotional one thing i don't miss was the very very late nights at like 3 a.m where i was pin cutting mum's hair every night and like the 9 no 8 a.m 7 a.m wake up calls so i was a bit bit of a bit of a ugh, during that time but it's fine we got it done she won she looked amazing one thing that I do remember was every day we would get a latte from this Starbucks in the hotel and then we'd get a bar. Now these bars are generally like life, but they were like five pounds. They sell them in the UK, but because we were buying them in the hotel, they were literally like five pounds for a bar and it was a joke, but they were so yummy. And that was like our mid afternoon snack of like a coffee in a bar. It was fabulous, we loved it. Oh my gosh, and there was this insane salad bar nearby and oh my gosh, the salads were so good. So. I was back from America and it was time for September. Now, September was actually quite a lot more holidaying. So I did spend a lot, a lot of this year abroad, which is crazy because, I mean, back in January, I had no plans of, a, of any trips abroad. And then I've literally had so many this year and I'm so grateful that I've had the opportunity to. So in September, me and Chloe went to Ibiza. I vlogged the whole trip and it was genuinely like so so much fun. We went from Monday to Friday, but one thing that happened was Misha got severe food poisoning. So I ate steak tartar and yeah, it didn't really agree with me, let's say. So I basically threw up everywhere and projectile vomited for a good few like hours i don't even know i was having a nap just before we paid 70 we paid 70 pounds each to go to what was it cafe mambo it was a 70 pound minimum spend each so 140 pounds and misha had food poisoning but i was still gonna go so i woke up from my nap and i just thought i was a little bit like tired from going to ocean the day before but i woke up and i fully projectile vomited and Chloe was crying her eyes out with laughter because at this point we didn't realize that I had food poisoning and I projectile vomited and it was the most disgusting experience of my life. My whole of my insides and my throat were like burning and like I just basically just, I felt better after I threw up. So I put some makeup on, put an outfit on, had this Instagram photo like three seconds after throwing up and I thought I looked quite okay in that photo so I thought that's hilarious. We went to Cafe Mambo. I didn't eat really i got some chips i ate my chips and i literally threw them up all over cafe mambo yes yes i was sitting with chloe and i was like i need to go to the toilet i ran try and go to the loo and the queue was out the door so i'm standing there in the middle of cafe mambo if anyone's been to cafe mambo it's very busy it's a very popular place it's very like instagram and I'm like, I'm gonna be sick. And it's near a shore, it's near like the beach. I was like, I'm gonna have to run to the beach and throw up by the beach. And this was all happening in my head. And in that moment, I threw up. But I kept it in my mouth, because you know, I'm a put together woman. And then I was like running, running, running. And, um, and it came again. And I threw up all over the floor of Cafe Mambo. And guys were stood there, literally laughing at me. And I just stood there with sick in my hands and Chloe wasn't there and I didn't know what to do and I kind of just ran away. Yeah, I kind of just left my sick and ran away. And they obviously would have thought that I was like some drunk little girl, but I wasn't. I was generally so ill from eating steak tartare and I basically didn't move for like the rest of the holiday. But I didn't want to, to ruin Chloe's holiday. So I still went to Ibiza Rock's Craig David pool party. Like we still went out for dinners. I was just very fragile, didn't eat, kind of died for like three days. It was horrific. And then... To make it even better, we were coming home. My mum was collecting us from the train station and this was at like midnight and my dad had gone to bed. Mum accidentally took a buff key with her. So we got back at like 10 past midnight 
and we were trying to open the door and the key wouldn't work and we couldn't get in and my dad was fast asleep upstairs my sister wasn't in the house we knocked on the door for a good two hours we rang the phone 70 times i'm not joking 70 times and he didn't wake up so this is like 2am at this point we had to go to the local kebab shop because Misha hadn't eaten all day because she'd been so ill but now she was starving we ate that and then we had to sleep in the car yes I had to sleep in my car then 6am rolls around mum wakes up and it's like I'm gonna go check on the door one more time and eventually dad woke up so 6am we come out the car and we come and get in bed Bearing in mind, 7am, Chloe had to get a train back to Scotland. So, yeah, that was a bit crazy, um, and we still not forgive Dad for it. Oh, and then we came back, and about a week later, we went on our family holiday to Mykonos, which was absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love Mykonos. I would highly recommend that you visit. And this was the first time, whilst we were out there, that I did a sponsored Instagram. So, we're coming to September. No, yeah, September, my first ever sponsored Instagram. And it was probably the most stressful situation of my life. There was a time frame that had to be posted, which was like five o'clock. And I had to write like a big caption and blah, 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 blah. I'll put the photo on the screen here. And we were coming around to like, I think it was like four o'clock and the photo needed to be up by five o'clock. And I was finishing my makeup because I wanted it to be the most incredible photo. And we had an idea in mind where we were to take it. And it comes to like 15 minutes before the photo needs to go live. And I've just finished my makeup. We're quickly shooting the photo. We got the shot. I'm like really quickly downloading the photos from my camera, trying to write the caption. And I literally posted the photo within like a second of five o'clock. And it was the most stressful situation. I didn't know which one I wanted to post, blah, 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 blah like it was a nightmare but we got there and it was a big moment for me so I just spoke through the whole of October and then realized that my camera wasn't recording so I'm back and I'm gonna try and wrap this up really quickly because I know this video is really long and I hope it's interesting and yes so October my car got smashed into so my car was parked on the drive I was learning to drive it was my sister's old car well no my car was parked in the road and some drunk person drove into my car in the middle of the night and I heard the bash but I didn't realise what it was and my car then smashed into somebody else's car basically my car was a write-off but the person that crashed into my car drove off didn't say anything but left their number plate so obviously they got caught out but didn't actually get prosecuted which I'm surprised by then also we went to Dublin in October to judge the Galaxy Island competition which was amazing i absolutely love dublin i'm called to irish so i mean irish people are just so lovely and also whilst we were in dublin we were judge when we were judging we were going back to the hotel and my friend ordered a taxi for us but i didn't know that she did and she'd already left so then the taxi arrived and we didn't have our stuff with us so we needed to go like like an, a couple of buildings down to get our stuff and then come back and get our taxi the guy that worked there not even the taxi driver just the guy that worked there fully flipped at me and had a massive go at me and was screaming at me and i was not having any of it like i fully sussed him back i was like excuse me i'm just gonna go outside and tell the blooming taxi driver that we just need to wait two seconds he was like how dare you do this and i was like okay old man Calm your titties. Then we had Miss Teen GB where I judged the juniors and that was so much fun. I met so, so many people. I I mean, I had like 10,000 photos that weekend. It was insane, but I was also really ill. So I kind of like had to battle through, but I was fine. I got there. I feel like I spent a lot of this year abroad or ill. Like that's literally how I spent my life. Then once I got back from Miss Teen GB, I went to Norwich to go and visit Liv, who is at uni there. And I stayed with her for like, a whole weekend I can't quite remember how long it was but it was so strange being at uni and like getting the uni experience I think it was quite good for me because it kind of proved to me that I didn't want to go to uni like it was fun for the weekend but I don't think I could live the uni life like I don't think I could do it then November so November was Chloe's birthday and me and mom flew up to Scotland to go and see her and go to her birthday party so we also stopped by in Edinburgh and had like a few days in Edinburgh and Edinburgh was lush I absolutely loved it there and then we got like 10,000 trains to in Maness, that's where she lives and we celebrated her birthday her party was insane she was hungover as hell so she didn't um she actually managed to keep her like she was she was still like pretty good she was still on form considering she was hungover and hadn't eaten because she couldn't stomach any food because she's an idiot and went out the night before her birthday crazy woman highlight 
having cocktails named after us and then also <laughs> basically there's like one club in Inverness and Chloe got in for free because it was her birthday and I just walked in I don't know how I got away with it I literally just walked in like am I a bad person whoops oh also when we were in Scotland that was when mum had her first ever GBK and mum absolutely loves GBK now and we we're obsessed and yeah GBK is life oh my gosh also I don't know if you guys are gonna remember this from the vlog but we went to this random Turkish restaurant because loads of people had recommended it and genuinely it was like the worst meal we've ever eaten the guy that was serving us also ran the kitchen also did the bills also did the washing up like it was the worst we couldn't even eat it we then went back to burger kitchen got my burger kitchen because yeah on the way back from Scotland we then had a massive flight delay because basically all the back doors wouldn't open so then half the plane had to be shipped off to like Edinburgh to fly from there one of them being a Gareth our friend who also flew down to Scotland for Chloe's birthday so that was a whole palaver then another big moment in my YouTube life would have been in the camera seems to hate me today but I'm just gonna try and wrap this up so quickly but I'm not gonna be able to do it so I also forgot to mention when we were in Scotland me mum and Chloe had a sleepover on the final night before we left to come back home to England and it was probably the the funniest night of the whole entire year like we ate so much food and we like cried over mum and her sex ed lessons I will try and include some of the footage here but it's so not age appropriate that I'll try and get clip it where it is yeah. my mum's mental also in November we left for Poland so me and mum went to Poland to go and visit Krakow then to also support Rachel Tate at the Miss Supranational pageant and then we also saw my Polish family whilst we were there now I had never been to Krakow before and it was absolutely lovely like honestly it was such a nice place I highly highly recommend it's probably my favorite trip of the year like we had so much fun in Poland it was honestly the best and we ate so much pierogi and pierogi is like the best food ever then December we were still in Poland and it was mum's 56th birthday and I was really worried that her birthday wouldn't be special because obviously we were away I couldn't really bring presents but I did get the room decorated at the hotel and it was insane and we had such a good day and we actually went to watch the pageant on mum's birthday because that was the day of the final and somehow me and mum managed to basically get into VIP without even paying for the standard price of a ticket. It was the funniest thing ever and we loved it and yeah, it was hilarious. Oh my gosh, also, so if you haven't watched the 10,000 calorie challenge vlog, you need to because it's the funniest vlog I think I've ever filmed. I go on about it all the time, but that was when mum let out a fart and then a bit of pee and it's honestly like the funniest vlog ever. We were crying our eyes out. You please need to go watch that. I, I can't, it was the best thing ever. We also had the whole bus malarkey because again, we can't do public transport. We were waiting at a bus stop for our bus. Then we found out the bus doesn't stop at that stop. So we had to like get in a taxi. Then the taxi man that we originally got but didn't come and then he came and I like, had a go at us oh my gosh and another big YouTube milestone was I got my first big big job for me so in December I actually got a job with Avon now you guys may have seen the picture on my Instagram and there'll be much more coming but basically I am working with Avon to advertise their new brow line and that's such a big deal for me because I mean Avon is like a they're, they're a big company, they're a big thing. They advertise on telly and they're using little old me. Like, what? It's, it honestly blows my mind that a year ago I, I didn't even have a YouTube channel and now I'm working with Avon and I'm working with Missy Empire. And I'm like, what? Oh, mum's ringing. See, senora? So yes, also in December, I did my first ever giveaways, which is a huge deal for me because again, that's a huge milestone. Like, I feel like, oh my gosh, am I actually like a proper YouTuber? Like, I know this sounds so stupid, but I'm like, am I a proper YouTuber? Like, I sound like such a seven year old, but to me, that's a really big deal because it was just a me filming in my room when I started and I, I wished it would become something, but I can't actually believe that it has become something. Like, it was just a dream that, and I know I'm not like number one successful YouTuber on the planet, but I'm getting there like I'm slowly but surely gradually building and that's what it's all about. It's a slow process, but good things are worth waiting for. And three of the giveaway prizes have already been announced and posted. 
but there was a fourth. Now the fourth was to win a lunch with me and Mama Grimes, which again, I know doesn't really sound like a prize. I sound really, I feel really cringe saying that, like win a lunch with me and mum. But we just wanted to meet some of you guys. Now this is now closed because when this video goes up, the winner will have been announced. It will be over on my Instagram story. I will also leave the details down below of who the winner was. But yeah, so there will be many more giveaways to come in the new year. And yeah, let me know what you guys would like from me. Also in December, I obviously have my Missy Empire Live, like I mentioned. And that was just an incredible experience. I've never gone live and had to do something so off the collar. Like, is that the word? I don't really know. But just... I film YouTube videos, I can edit out what I say if I think I say something that doesn't sound right. But live, I can't do that. And the funniest thing, I cropped it out of the video because I was just too embarrassed when it was in the vlog, because it's a vlog of the whole thing. But when I went live, I went, hi guys, I'm here at Mwissy Mwissy Empire. I said Missy Empire wrong, I put Mwissy. And I was like, oh my gosh. I'm an idiot, but we got there, it was fine. Then, also, in case you guys didn't know, I had my driving test in December, December the 21st, and I passed! whoop you do first time, 10 minus, but it's fine. Um, and yeah, I'm so proud of myself, because again, that was something that I've been working towards for over a year, so it came into fruition in 2017. And then finally, of course, there was Christmas. Now, Christmas is my favourite time of year, not for the gifts, not for the, not for the commercial side of Christmas, but A, the food, B, I just feel like everyone, not everyone, obviously, because I know Christmas is a very hard time for some people, but you can just feel the buzz and the excitement and the joy around you just in the street. A majority of people are in a much nicer mood at Christmas and it's nice to see joy, joy really, yeah, that, that, that's why I like Christmas because some people are a lot happier and who doesn't like a bit more happiness in the world? That basically sums up my year. I think one thing I've forgotten to mention is that in December is when I had the first ever experience when I was in Manchester of people coming up to me and actually recognising me and being like, oh my gosh, from Misha Grimes from YouTube. And that's a huge thing for me. Like, it blows my mind that to me, I'm just sat in my bedroom. Like, I'm literally sat in my bedroom with a camera and one little ring light in my pyjamas because I'm casual and cool. I'm not cool. And People actually watch my videos, they enjoy my content, and they actually are excited to meet me, like little old me, like that, that is literally like, what? I can't fathom the thought. So when we were in Manchester, it was the first time that people actually came up to me, and I was like, what? Like, what? People actually know who I am? Like, that's, that's just a whole nother level, and I'm just, I can't, as you can see, I find it really hard to digest because I'm well, not digest, I'm not really eating it, but you know what I mean. And I'm so grateful to the people like Alana who came up and said hello because it makes my day, it makes my year. And in 2018, I want to do meetups. Like I want to do meetups, I want to meet you guys. I am really scared that no one will come and I know people say that and they probably think I'm being like really attention seeking, like, oh my gosh, I think it's not gonna come. But genuinely, like, I'm a nobody. I, I, I'm just a random, everyday, normal girl. So if any of you want to actually meet me, like, what? That's crazy. And I, me and Mum are thinking of doing like a little tour where we like go to different places. Yeah. I'll be making lots of more videos about it. I'm sure when we organise it all. But let me know what places you'd like me to come to, like main cities and if you'd actually come because like imagine if I was just waiting there and like no one came like that'd be so cringe I'd be like oh my gosh I'm a fail <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna wrap this video up I think we can tell that my 2017 has been incredible it's been absolutely incredible and I don't think I'd change a thing I don't think I can't anyway so what's the point in looking back and I'm looking forward to a new 
an exciting year. I hope and pray that 2017 will be just as incredible as 2018. I think I've done a lot of growing up this past year. I've kind of turned into an adult. I feel like I'm going into 2018 in a much better place mentally than I did go into 2017. And yeah, I'm so excited to see what the next few months years everything will hold for me and thank you guys for all your support thank you for watching this video i apologize that it's so incredibly long i blabber you know this by now like we, we've been around a year together guys you, you know i don't shut up and i hope you enjoyed this little more casual year recap and sorry if you found it really boring because you don't really care what misha did this year but some of you might so yes thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your love and all your support it means not even the world to me, it means the universe to me, and that sounds really cringe, but I'm gonna say it anyway. So, yes, I am very grateful for the year that I've had and the opportunities that I've had, but I also know that it wasn't just luck. Like, I have worked incredibly hard this year, so I'm just gonna give myself a little pat on the back, like I have, and I think I've pushed myself to new limits that I didn't even realize I had, and yeah, I've done a lot, I've done a lot of growing up for sure. I've experienced negatives in my year, but I'm not gonna let that stop me from looking at the positives and enjoying everything great that happened because it's life to have your ups and your downs and if you didn't have your downs you wouldn't necessarily realize when you had your ups and you wouldn't appreciate the great things so on that note i'm going to shut up i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel and yeah watch this space because i hope and I pray that there is so much exciting stuff coming up and yeah I love you all bye bye and have a fabulous 2018